dive into the super contest picks each week chris and i make our five official plays against the spread and chris i'm gonna start us off this week well here let me let me go and do this i went one and four last week not great but i did get at least one win so that was good uh overall 19 and 16 on the season chris you went four and one last week and that puts you at 18 15 and two on the year so we're you know we're profitable right now uh, it's not it's not a big profit but it is still making money, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to start us off. I'm going to take the Patriots plus five and a half at the Chargers. We already talked about this game, but I I think the number's a little bit too high. Like you said, there's going to be a bit of a home field advantage for the Patriots in Los Angeles. And and I think this is this is two quarterbacks that are really finding their way that are, that are knocking this thing out. I think we're going to see points. I mean, there's a reason why the total sits at a 49 here. Uh, I could totally see this going, you know, both teams in the 30s. I, I think the Patriots can keep this within five and a half. I think they can win the game outright. I'm going to start off with Detroit. The, the couple of weeks ago, I thought at home they were going to you know play well against the Bengals, get their first win. I maybe underrated the Bengals in that, and, and I should never do that again. This week, they are getting their first win. They're catching three points. They got the Eagles coming to town. Detroit's winning the football game. Dan Campbell gets his victory. That was actually my second pick here, and it's in – Currently, the line at BetUS, uh, which you know is where the game begins, and you can find the link in the uh, in the description. So go sign up at BetUS. It's actually three and a half. So I'm gonna give you the hook here uh, because I'm taking the hook as well. Lions plus three and a half for me as well. Uh, they are playing really well right now. Uh, they don't have a bunch of names on the team, but this is a team that looks you know better as a full unit, and and I think they're gonna get the win. So I'm I'm taking them as well. What's uh what's game number two for you? Game number two for me, I'll, I'll stay with the uh, the Bengals. Uh, riding that hot hand, baby. Uh, Bengals minus 10 and a half. It's a big number on the road. It's crazy, right? Yes, it's absolutely crazy. But the Jets are bad. The Jets are falling apart at the seams, and Joe Flacco ain't fixing it. This is this is turning into one of those weeks where we are looking at the same games. <laughs> I also have the Bengals minus 10 and a half. I already bet them at minus 10, but that line has grown. I expect it to get closer to like, 13 or so by kickoff. I don't think it matters. Zach Wilson was was doing some good things with the Jets. Uh, without him, yeah. I have no idea how they score. No idea because this Bengals defense is really, really good. Uh, I don't expect them to be able to score here. And and I think the Bengals, I mean, they could put up three touchdowns and, and cover this. Like, I, I really think the, the Jets might score single digits here. So, so I will take... Well, uh, the problem is the Bengals are going to put up about five touchdowns. Yeah, they, exactly. So I'm, I'm rolling Bengals minus 10 and a half as well. Uh, I'll go on and give you my fourth bet here before we get to your third. Uh, I'm going to take the Panthers plus three at the Falcons. I, I think this is a bounce back spot. I don't think the Panthers are nearly as bad as they looked last week against the Giants, uh, but also don't think that the Falcons are as good as as they have appeared in some of these wins here lately. They've been beating bad teams. I expect them to kind of come back down to earth. You get a little more comfortable when you get at home, and the Panthers, for whatever reason, play better on the road. So I'm going to take the Panthers plus three. I think that they can actually get a win here, and I, I kind of expect them to. So I'll, I'll take the Panthers plus three. I want to take the Bucks minus five at the Saints. I think the Bucks are rolling. They're one of the best teams in football. They've got the best quarterback in football, and uh, they've got one of the best defenses going. I think uh, Jameis Winston is going to have a big, big problem. I so this is my last bet. I'm I'm going opposite of you on that. I like the Saints plus five. I think they're going to keep it close. Uh, you know, at home, I think they might have a shot to win. I doubt it, but I do think that this will be a close ball game. This felt like a field goal game either way uh, because of that Saints defense. So I will, I will take the Saints plus five. You still have two more on the board. What uh, what are you last two? I'm going to take the Packers plus six and a half at the Cards. I think uh, I think Aaron Rodgers comes through. Every team in the NFL eventually falls, and I think the Cardinals will fall this weekend. And my last one, I'm taking my Brownies against your Steelers. They're at home. Stefanski's the better coach. I've got the better quarterback. I've got the better defense. I've got the better players all the way across the board. I'll take my Brownies covering the three and a half. I can get down with that. I can get down with it. Okay. Okay. Now, obviously, I said earlier, I like the Steelers. I still kind of do. But would it surprise me if this ended up being like a 21-17 to 17 game where, where the Browns get the win? Nope. Not in the slightest. It's why I didn't have them as an official play for me. So, quick rundown. 
I had the Pats plus five and a half, Panthers plus three, Bengals minus ten and a half, Saints plus five, and Lions plus three and a half. Chris has Lions plus three and a half, Bengals minus ten, Bucks minus five, Packers plus six and a half, and the Browns minus three and a half. Uh, Chris, anything that you want to hit before uh, we hop off here and I close out this show? No, sir. That's it, brother. That sounds good. All right, Chris, we'll talk to you later on. All right. So let's go ahead and close this thing up. We appreciate you guys watching the show. If you would, so kindly, go ahead and like the video for us. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell. It lets you know when we go live. We do the show on Wednesdays, on Fridays, and, of course, our college football reaction show on Sundays. Of course, go and check out the BetUS College Football Show that I do Wednesdays and Thursdays. Chris knocks out the the SBR College Football Show, and that one is on Mondays and on Saturdays right now. Don't believe they're doing the midweek show right now uh, until they get the YouTube stuff back up. So either way, go over to the SBR uh, Twitter page and check out Chris over there for uh, for his College Football Show. And, of course, the show brought to you by BetUS, Where the Game Begins, America's top premier sports book. Go and check them out. Use the promo code NCAAF2021 to get 125% deposit bonus up to $2,500, and it is sports book exclusive. You can click the link in the description, and it's going to put the promo code in there for you. We've got another fun weekend of football coming up. I cannot wait. Don't forget to come in for the Friday morning show. We're going to have a lot of fun with that one as well, talking a lot of fun college football games this weekend, of course. And if, like I said, the Bet US show and the SBR show, we're going to talk about all the biggest matchups. We always do our off-the-radar pick em, uh between Chris and myself, and, and it's a whole lot of fun because we talk about the games that are not being discussed at a bunch of the bigger platforms. So make sure that you are here for that along with the preview, et cetera, et cetera. Share out the show, tell your friends about it, all that good stuff. And, uh, and let's go ahead and wrap this thing up. You guys have been fantastic. We appreciate all of you for watching the show. Again, subscribe. We're trying to hit that 5,000 mark on YouTube. If, uh, if you would so kindly, again, tell your friends all that wonderful stuff. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And hopefully, all of you tickets cash this week. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.